morning guys, welcome to another vlog. Today me and my aunt are heading off on a little excursion near Kamenets Podilski. We're heading off to visit this really cool cave monastery and also another castle nearby. Guys, we just arrived here. It took about an hour drive from uh, Kamenitz Podilski on some really, really bumpy roads. But right now we're at the site of a uh, former village, it's called Bakuta, um, that the Soviet government flooded back in 1980s to create a hydroelectric station. And now there's a reservoir here. Uh, there used to be an old uh, cave monastery that's still existing, uh, but we're gonna hike down there in a little bit. But guys, just check out this view here, it's beautiful. So the village was located somewhere in the middle of all of this. Walking down the stairs to get down to the uh, monastery below us. There's like little caves here too. I mean, check that out. I gotta say, it's definitely quite secluded over here. We're about an hour away from uh, the city, but there are uh, organized tour buses that come here nonetheless. Um, I've actually already been here with my parents when we did this little excursion about 10 years ago. Here's the map describing where we are in this little area of Ukraine. So these cliffs are basically a, uh, a natural feature of the Podilia uh, region of Ukraine. We're in kind of like Western Ukraine right now. So beautiful. Just made it down to the uh, monastery here. I believe it's a men's monastery. It dates back to like the 11th or 12th century. So it's been here for quite a while. monastery has been here for centuries centuries literally there used to be more caves here in this area like this but when they flood, flooded the um, Dniester River to make the reservoir for the electric station a lot of them came crumbling down you know and the thing that's crazy is that not a lot of people even know um, that places like this exist in Ukraine everybody uh, that visits the country always goes to the main city Kiev the capital other main destinations, but there's just so much beauty uh, in this country that's just hidden and tucked away. 
some local running water. They also have some cups for you if you really want to get a drink. I hear it's really fresh too. It's actually pretty nifty. We're located literally in the middle of farmland as far as the eye can see. So there's really not much around here besides this. Making our way down now, down toward the uh, banks of the uh, reservoir. There's also a beach here, uh, and you can do some cliff jumping. This is a really good spot for that, but we didn't bring any uh, change of clothes or towels. So I'm sure the water is really refreshing after a uh, hot day hiking. Oh wow, it's so warm. Somebody has a private little beach over here. Мила, тебе тут нравится? Да, очень Красиво. классно. Да, тут можно бы на недельку пожить. She says she'd want to come here for like a week to like relax because it's so quiet here, except for the uh, the motor of the little dinghy and also well the drone. I think we're gonna head back now because we got about a 30 minute hike up. That was a nice 30 minute hike. Just made it back. I think we're heading to the car now and on to our next stop. It's just so cool walking right next to uh, such an old castle. I feel like I'm in the Middle Ages. <laughs> 